honey, you know, there are some people in this life that you need to know how to get away from. The reason why I'm sharing this is because I'm presently going through this right now. And I'm not talking about relationships. I'm not talking about a significant other, your man, your girl, your ex. No, I'm talking about strictly friends and family. I'm going through it right now as we speak. And why am I paying this forward? Because I, I'm sure there's a lot of people under the same circumstances that I'm in right now, which is the circumstance where you just care so much for somebody that it's really hard to let go or it's really hard to act like you don't see certain things that are happening. And especially when you're a giving person, you know, I'm, I'm sure and I'm, I'm not the only one. There's a lot of people out there that, that really don't give and they're just like that. But there is a lot of good people in the world. And I'm going to go, I'm going to go ahead and say that there's more good than there is bad. Because if it wouldn't be that way, then I think we wouldn't have a world at all, right? So um, what I'm trying to tell you guys is that the only ways that you can sometimes really try to focus on you without letting other people's problems hurt you is by getting away. When I say get away, I literally mean get away. Like... You have to stay in your lane, stay in your space, not go visit them, not go, you know, what you don't know doesn't hurt you. So if it's family members or friends that are like family, because you see, for me, I, I don't consider myself really having friends like that because for me, my friends are like family or if, or if not their family, they're like friends. So for me, it's just, it has the same meaning but that's just for me obviously friendship is friendship and family is family but i'm letting you know that for me it's like the same meaning when i have a friend usually i am the type of person that i go all in and that could be part of my defect that could be my flaw that i meet someone and i'm an open book and at times i do expect for you to be the same with me because it's all about energy matching i if you don't match my energy, then that's when you're my friend. See what I'm saying? If you really don't match my energy, I'd be like, oh yeah, I know that that's my friend. Hey, and we'll chill every now and then, but we really don't chill. We're friends, you see? But the ones that I'm really going to say my real friends, the ones that I consider to be family, I those are people I just get attached to because they kind of match my energy until they don't. <laughs> that happens. So in life, we have a... a we have lapses, right? Stages in which you start off as a newborn, then you're a toddler, then you're a kid, then you're a teen, then you're an adult, and then shit starts getting real, <laughs> right? Because then you got to get it. Now you're not depending on nobody. You got to depend on yourself to, you know, leave a legacy, make your goals come true your dreams, like conquer your goals and, and do what you have to do in life, right? I, I believe that everyone in life should have something they want to leave behind. I don't think we should just live life and not be remembered. No, at least I want to be remembered like Michael Jackson, like Celia Cruz, like many other, I, hey, Whitney, see what I'm saying? Well, I want to be one of those. Not exactly am I going to be the singer, but I, I want to make a movement. I want to do something. But in order to make these moves, in order to conquer and reach where I want to reach, everyone around me has to be on my same page or above. You can't be below. Because if I'm trying to reach something, right? If I'm not there yet, but I'm trying to conquer my goals, and then let's say I'm right here, but I got all my family and friends right here. So if I'm here, now I got to look down. Or if not, we're going to be like this. And that means I got to look back. The moment I look back, the moment I look down, the moment I, try, the moment I try to pick you up, now I'm a little late. Because I'm not there yet. I haven't made it to the top. 
So, honey, I am so sorry, but I got to let you be. I got to let you go because we're not moving in the same tempo. Like, I'm, I'm trying to go for something. I'm reaching for the skies because they told me the sky's the limit. I hear you. You trying to do the same, but how you trying to do it? Because if I'm up here, why ain't you following my lead? Why are you not like by my side? Why are you behind me? The moment that happens, some of us just stick on. I am the type of person that I just continue giving chances. I continue. Okay, come on. We can do it. We can do it. But ain't, it ain't nothing about we because my dreams are not your dreams. We are not thinking the same. So if you're going to be by my side, shit, you got to ponerte las pilas, like get your energizer battery on and let's get it. Let's get it. I want to see you with the drums right next to me or in front of me. Cause believe you me, I'm going to catch up to you. Oh, that's a fact. But honey, but if you can't catch up to me and it's been already a certain time, then what are we doing? So now the thing is. Why do we got to break up? Why? You got to break up to make up. Because if you don't break up, what starts happening is now you're doing your thing and you're trying to help this person. But in so at some point in time, you're going to start getting so mad because you're like, damn, I was already coming up here, but I just stepped back to help this person. And now you're mad. Now your energy changed. Your whole setting changed because you're upset because... Due to the fact that you're helping this person, it's taking you a bit longer to conquer what you almost had. But now you're upset at this person. And then I, I catch myself and I'm like, why am I upset? Why am I upset at her? Like, why? I mean, I know what I have to do and I know where I'm going. And you were going fine. You just decided to give a helping hand. Okay. Okay. I'm not saying it's not okay to give a helping hand, but the helping hand has to be given once you've made it to the top. Nazir, Alexa, quiet. You got to give that helping hand once you have made it to the top. In the meanwhile, all you're going to do is frustrate yourself about how are you helping this person? But, oh, I got to do this, but then you're going to be mad at this person. No, boo-boo. I'm here to tell you that it's never that person's fault. Don't ever get mad at this person because, or, or blame them or point fingers. Oh, I was about to do this, but I couldn't do it because I turned back for you. And then you still not helping me. We're still not at the same level. What's going on? What's going on is that you should have never stopped. You, you're the leader. So in order for you to lead correctly, okay, and that just happened. In order for you to lead correctly, you got to finish the job. Show them how is it that you actually lead. So you lead by getting to the top without looking back. And then that person might follow you. And if they don't, well... Everyone has to take the same course, which is the struggles, the downfalls, the pain, the hurts, the scars, the healing. It's all part of the journey. So with that being said, honey, I'm telling you from experience and I need you to do what you got to do for you. It doesn't make you a mean person. And it doesn't make you a bad person. Oh, but they're my family. Yes, I get that. They are your family. It doesn't mean you don't care. You don't love them. It just means that you can let nothing or nobody hold you back. Because then you're going to see yourself in a place where, you, where you're going to say, Hey, I don't like, why am I here? And you will start questioning yourself until you start thinking deep enough and start saying, hold on. But who forced you to go back? Who forced you to look back? Who forced you to turn around and said, okay, come on, jump on my back. Now you're the one tired and you can't make it there. 
But I'm going to tell you one thing. You're never going to make it there unless the person knows what they're doing and where they're at. So a lot of us, we tend to, tr we tend to tr continue to try to help somebody. We continue trying to help people. Oh, yes, I got this. No, but I know I can help them. I know I can help them. But honey, if this person doesn't, does not believe in themselves enough, then how are you going to make that happen? I'm here to tell you there's no such thing. Okay? You have to believe in you. So you see, anyone tells me this is the way to go. That's all you got to tell me. You pointed me. You guided me there. That's all. You gave me a guidance. You gave me an advice. I took it because I'm smart enough to do that. But it's what I want. I want it so bad that with or without you, I'm going to make it happen. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to do that. But I can't do it if I have all these people around me that are not in my same mindset, in my same level, like I said, matching my energy. I love everybody around me and they mean good. I get that. But what I also get is that we're not in the same mindset. Some of us grow a little faster than others because it ain't got nothing to do with age. Uh-uh. Some of these people I could be talking to you about are way older than me. But guess what? They're still going through a process. They still got to figure out what path are they supposed to take. I already know my path. My problem is I have such a good heart that I just, I feel bad. But in this case, this is why I say you got to cut all ties. Because one of the things, one of the factors that happen to me a lot is that, okay, we chill all the time. If we chill all the time and if I'm around you and I know, I just hear that you're going through a struggle or a problem that maybe I can help with, my problem is that I'm going to help. But the moment I help, now I'm taking from myself to help you all because I heard. So let's say you didn't even, your friend didn't even come to you with the problem. They didn't. You just around them. Since you're around them, you know, and maybe they have kids, maybe they whatever, and you're in a little better position. You're in better standing. So you say, oh my God, I feel so bad. And you call, homie, listen, I know you didn't ask me for this or whatever, but I'm not, I know you're going through this. Tell me, tell me a lot of you guys aren't like that because I know I'm not the only one. I know, I know there's got to be a lot of very great souls like mine out there. So I do that all the time. I, I know that whatever, but guess what? Then something, something just comes about in the future. And when that something comes about in the future, maybe I needed whatever I gave away. And now I'm here like, oh, crap. Now what? So yeah, you did a good thing. And I'm going to tell you something. When you give, giving is the best feeling in the world. You want to be happy every day? Give away. When you give, that's the best feeling. But you got to know what and who you're giving to. You see what I'm saying? Because you can't give until you have everything you want. You can give certain things like you have a dollar. You have a burger. You see a homeless and you gave it. Oh, yeah. So for me, the way that it works is like this. I'm such a giving person that when you give... The world, the universe, karma, everything gets activated and it just comes right back. When I told myself one day I would never be with less than $100 in my purse or in my bank, the moment I decided to like literally believe in that, shit, I'm telling you, I've never been with less than $100 in my purse and I never will. It's called the law of attraction, one. And two, it's also the fact that I'm a helping person. So yes, when you give, what's going to happen is you keep giving, you keep helping the people around you that are in the need, and you're going to keep getting in return. But it's going to take you so long to reach your final destination because you can't do that type of giving until you've given yourself exactly what it is that you've planned for yourself. 
Now, honey, I want you to tell me if you got that. Mm -hmm. I hope you did. So I'm just paying it forward. It's things that happen, things that I go through, and I have to tell myself as hard as it is, honey, I can't chill with you anymore. You can't come to my house anymore. I can't go to your house anymore. So you see, I don't need to block these type of people from social media or I don't have to X them out completely. No, because from social media, you're never going to really know their personal issues and their downfalls. And you know, a lot of social media people be out there flaunting what it's not. Oh, we're the best. We're the best. And deep down, like they're going through hell. This happens a lot. So that's one of the reasons why I don't believe everything I see in social media. So you see, but a lot of people are not an open book like me. No, when I tell you I've had a downfall, I've had it. When I tell you I'm going through it right now, I'm going through it right now, which is the reason why I'm paying it forward because you have no idea how hard it is for me to be able to, to tell the people that I've been with, that I've grown up with my whole life, I can't vibe with you anymore. I can't chill with you anymore. I can't be by your side anymore. Don't call me with your problems anymore. I don't want to hear about them because I got problems of my own because I'm not exactly where I want to be at yet. And it doesn't mean that the problems, once I make it to where I want to be at, problems stops. No, more money, more problems is set for a reason. We're going to continue having problems. Obstacles, yes. Haters, that's never going to stop. But that's something that tells you that you're doing shit right. All these obstacles, are they going to give you is more growth? All these problems, are they going to give you is lessons learned? Many lessons learned, <laughs> you know? But always remember that you got to focus on you. You got to focus on what you want. And you got to dismiss some of these people that you love so much. It doesn't have to be forever. But it has to be till you conquer what you want to conquer. Until you get to where you want to get to. Did you get that? Hmm. All right. So I'm going to leave this in your thought. Think about it. And do what's best for you. You'll help them out later. Don't worry. And at some, at some point, you're still helping them out. Hold up. You blocking them, leaving them there, and doing what you got to do is still, believe it or not, showing them and teaching them a lesson. Because maybe at the beginning, they might be like, oh, look at her. She turned her back on me. She don't want to talk to me no more, this and that. Trust me. If they don't got mental issues, they know what's up. They know. They know why you're getting away. They know why you don't want to be around them anymore. Of course they know. Because they look at what you're doing and they look at what they're doing. So, listen. I don't know algebra, but I do know one plus one is two. They know two. See what I'm saying? So, in the long run, you're actually teaching them a much better lesson by saying, I got to leave you where you're at and I got to do me. And when they see you rise and get up there, I guarantee that they're going to say, damn. It's either they get it and do the same thing or they stay where they're at. But now that's up to them. You did what you had to do for you. Okay. Now I know you got it. <laughs>